Hi, I'm Matt Beach with Tenfold Recruiting and um, was asked about what are some recruiting tips that not only have I trained uh, my previous carriers in the carrier days, but also my recruiters at Ten4. Um, you know, one one area of focus would be the um, the application tracking system that you use, and you know a lot of the, you know you, you make a call to a new app, you got from new to maybe an attempting contact status, and then how do I follow up on that, and where does it go when I get a hold of a driver, and just kind of knowing and being able to gauge what's your process from a recruiter perspective as to the communication of that driver. Right, and so being able to find what are your statuses, uh, whatever application track you're sitting you're doing, but being able to have a nice roadmap as to I make a phone call, didn't get a hold of them, they go into this bucket. I do get a hold of the driver. Here's this now this, because I spoke to them, I sent them a link to fill out a, a, a full app. That right there is a hot lead. So anything that I, I, I talk to the driver and the driver's somewhat interested in my driving position that I'm, I'm recruiting them for, that's a hot lead. And so then that's why I go back to that, what's that roadmap from statuses to actually your hot leads and making sure there's a clear follow-up process, whether it be morning, noon, and night, being able to follow up on those hot leads. Could be four, could be five, could be six. I don't how many, you know, you've got to be able to define those specifically, those hot leads for your statuses uh, within your application tracking system. And again, it's just making sure that you're following up on those and uh, training your recruiters how to do it. And that's a big thing, training. Training in general is key. You know, right now, I think in this industry, a lot of people are, are being fed the water hose, right? We're just getting smashed with this all kind of stuff left and right. Hey, we got to hurry, hurry, we got to get this. And we're bringing individuals on board without the proper training. We got to be able to sit down with our people if they don't know your application tracking system and make sure they're comfortable with it. You know, to me, in my in my opinion, the hardest part about this, about being a recruiter is not the application tracking system. That's the easy part to train on. It's being able to find the right person to sit in the seat to make a lot of phone calls, to do a lot right now, with a, tendency to, with a lot less than what we're used to. And so it's being able to find that right person to be in the right seat to make a lot of phone calls because I truly believe in that. There, we've got so much communication right now that we can do to communicate to a driver. We have pulse, we have text, we have emails, we can make a phone call, right? We can even do smoke signals if we wanted to be able to get a driver in and talk to them. But, you know, it's just being able to organize all that, but at the same time, trying to teach that to an individual, especially right now in this market, is tough. You know, when I think about, um, again, quick little tips, you know, for the recruiters, because again, we're asking them to do a whole lot more with potentially getting a little bit less than what we're used to. You know, when you think about um, a recruiter having to make phone calls and then the typing and the emails they have, to be, they have to do, I think a great, easy, quick tip is creating somewhat of a quick message so that all you have to do is a click for that recruiter. All right, because it's taking that, hey, I can type in a note or whatever to let me keep my lead, which is left voicemail, sent, you know, uh, sent email, made phone call, hit a note, and I'm good, right? But I don't want to type all that out. You can shave off a minute, shave off five seconds to be able to help your recruiter make that transition to the next phone call or to the next lead, to the next, whatever that is. It's a huge bonus, not only for you as a manager, but also for your recruiters, okay? And so I would highly recommend making sure you get with your application tracking system and trying to find those, what is it that I can make the process easier for my recruiters as well as faster?